Uh, welcome to Musik und Frieden Berlin, where I have uh, legendary enslaved with me. Uh, you started your European tour yesterday in Hamburg. What are your expectations for the tour? Uh, they're huge, obviously. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, we just released uh, our new album, and uh, I'm always psyched uh, to, to uh, present the new material for, for the fans and, uh, and the new, new listeners as well. Um, Although the, the album got great reviews, um, this is like uh, playing live, playing the songs live is, is the main test. So um, I, I wouldn't say I'm very nervous, but I'm you know uh, uh, excited and, and, and psyched, and I'm really much looking forward to yeah, every night because the, it, it's uh, it's something new for 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 the audience every night since we just released the album. So it's uh, this is the big test, definitely. So uh, yeah. But it was fun, uh, fun yesterday, and uh, I think it's going to be even better. I hope so tonight. Yeah, let's hope so. And uh, how important are live performances for your band? I mean, uh, nowadays it, it's 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 the crucial, uh, it's a crucial thing, the, the most crucial thing uh, about being in a band, actually, because in, in nowadays there's a totally different different situation than in the '90s when you can actually a band can actually uh, live pretty well by. Uh, you know, selling records and, and uh, play tours and shows every once in a while. That situation has changed uh, completely with uh, the introduction of uh, uh, internet, streaming, downloading, YouTube, stuff like that. So performing live has become, in, is becoming increasingly important. So uh, everybody can, can, can uh, you know, make a decent uh, studio recording, uh, but uh, the ultimate thing it's of course uh, the live format, so uh, it means everything for a band. Uh, speaking of live, you actually released a live album earlier this year called uh, Roadburn Live. Uh, how did that album come to be? Well, I mean, uh, I'm not a, a huge fan of, of uh, live albums in, in, in general because, I mean, uh, we had great live albums in, in the 70s and in, in the 80s, but I mean, uh, where they really that much live, and I mean every single one of the, those great live albums that they were edited in studio afterwards. So uh, it's kind of a uh, it's kind of untransformable to a physical product. I think, in my in my opinion, it is. So to me, a, a live album is more or less like a souvenir for those that uh, were present at the show. It's 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 not a. Uh, it's a totally different uh, experience when you are uh, present at, at, at the show. I mean, you know, it's impossible to, to uh, get the connection by listening to uh, on your turntable or on, on, on your CD play, uh, player. I mean, you, get, you have no chance to, to, to catch the moment, you know, compared to being actually there and, you know, the interaction with the, with the other spectators, with the band, the atmosphere, you know, everything. So. Uh, but I mean, since it was uh, performed at our favorite festival, Rollburn, in, in the Netherlands, uh, it was it was okay, but not, in my opinion, very much more than that. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, and uh, like you already mentioned, your latest album, uh, E, uh, was actually released last month. Uh, what could you tell uh, tell us about that album? Well. Uh, it depends on what you want to know. <laughs> it's um, well, it, it's a very uh, energetic album, and it's uh, it, it's a, it con uh, contains a, a different band dynamics. Since we uh, are really much, uh, very much a, a different band than the, the previous release, because we uh, we lost one member, which takes away twenty percent of the band, and. Uh, we have to add a new keyboard player, and, uh, and uh, of course the, the band dynamics changed. And uh, but that was a good thing. I mean, um, it was kind of like a fresh start, and uh, and, uh, and, and I felt this time everybody, uh, all the guys in the band, were pulling in the same direction, and we we really had a great time recording and, and, and making this album. So uh, it was a very very positive uh, experience. Am I allowed to say positive? It, it's a metal show. Yeah. Okay, it, it was. It was really a, a great thing. Okay, uh, Norse mythology is, uh, of course, uh, one big inspiration for you. But uh, from what other sources do you draw inspiration from? Well, 
I, mean, I, I like, I mean, Norse mythology has so, so many things in common with uh, other mythologies. Like, like uh, I mean, it's, we share the same uh, approach to life, uh, so to speak, uh, as, you know, the Greek mythology and the Roman mythology, uh, the Sami mythology. So there's a lot of similarities, uh, Native American mythology. So it, it's kind of the, uh, a belief system that is very close to human nature, which is m much more fascinating than the so-called religions, and, and, uh, uh, which are more or less uh, politics, like, like in monotheistic religions. I mean, they, it's about conquering, it's about obedience, it's about uh, laws. Uh, the mythology is, is more uh, advices than, than laws. It's, it's more, to me, it, it stands for um, uh, education, really. I mean, uh, human uh, evolving, uh, uh, kind of a natural way to uh, develop a personality rather than to just uh, uh, obey a, a god. Or it, that, that's, that, that's really um, uh, very, very far away from, from, from uh, uh, the way humans should interact with with with, uh, with, with, with religion. I mean, having a priest or a bishop or a pope or anything to dictate your, your life on behalf of God. What the fuck is that? <laughs> so, we kind of uh, I like the kind of uh, uh, individuality aspects with, uh, with uh, all the mythologies. It, it, it's like it, it, it's so much more connected to uh, both. Uh, yeah, both the mind and the flesh, really. Okay, and uh, you have taken many musical directions over the years. How do you see the musical evolution of the band yourself? Well, I, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty simple, really. I mean, uh, we don't want to repeat ourselves, and we want to, we want to develop, we want to open up our, our uh, own horizon. We, we, I mean, music is about uh, exploring. And we've always been record collectors, and, and, and we have always been music lovers rather than specific genre lovers, you know. So, uh, and always been very open-minded to, to new ideas. Uh, so, uh, it, it's about uh, the, the approach is really simple. Try to make your own contemporary favorite music, and of course, I mean, we've been around since 1991, and of course, we have broadened our uh, uh, inspiration and of course uh, what the music you're making is obviously colored by the music you're listening to so obviously we have changed I mean it's, it's not a conscious uh, thing that oh on the next album we're gonna sound like this or sound like that it, it, it's not about that it's, it's like a, a natural thing because you have been uh, you know trying to pick up new ideas pick up new bands to listen to and yeah buy new records, really. <laughs> so it's, it's pretty simple. It's really not that complicated. We just want to enjoy ourselves with this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the band's roots are in uh, black metal. What does the black metal genre, uh, as a, uh, does it have any meaning to you nowadays, or what is the meaning for you? I mean, uh, the word black metal, I mean, I, I, mean, I, I look upon black metal as, uh, you know, any, any, kinds of, any kind of satanic uh, inspired uh, metal music. So for me, Venom and Merciful Fate and Bathory and all the bands with, with, with satanic lyrics, basically, were black metal. So we, I don't, f well, we had to share something in common with black metal bands, but I mean, we never looked upon ourselves as, as uh, a part of you know, the narrow genre black metal. So for us, it has never been a, an issue, really. We just, but I mean, we, we have things in common with the other extreme metal bands from, from, from the same period, like we started, of course. And yeah, we're still friends with them. And um, yeah, <laughs> healthy relationship. I'm not, I'm not that uh, entangled in, you know, the genre talk and stuff like that. It, it's really not important. There's only two types of music. There's good music and crap music. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. You know? uh, like you mentioned, the band was founded already in 1991 uh, in Haugesund. Uh, in short, uh, how would you describe this amazing journey from 1991 uh, uh, till today? You know, uh, just released new album, uh, starting world tour from Europe. 
Well, it's been an interesting journey, and uh, I still feel like uh, 91 was last week, in many ways. And well, in many ways, it's not, of course. I mean, our bodies are not the same anymore. <laughs> but um, I think we, we, we still uh, we still have the the same goal and the, the same energy uh, on many levels. Maybe not on all levels, but but. Uh, and, and the, the excitement of, ma of making music is, uh, is still there. I mean, I, of course, it, it was more exciting uh, for us the first time we went touring in, uh, in Europe in, in 1995. I mean, we were, I was, how old was I in 1995? 21 or something, 21. And the first tour, and that, that was obviously more, I was obviously more anxious touring them than I am now. I mean, this, I don't know how many tours we've been on because it's like several every year. So, um, but I mean, uh, traveling is always the boring part of, uh, of, of touring, and, uh, but it's still uh, just as exciting to play live, it is. So, um, it's been a long and uh, interesting uh, journey, but um, I, I will do the same over again, if I had the choice. That really means I'm stupid, but I, I, I know, but it, it has been interesting. Okay, thank you very much, and break a leg tonight. Yours? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.